Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Off Grid Hunter. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a stealth cam. Uh, this is going to be a setup that's applicable to many of their models. I'll uh, list the model that I'm doing in the description below specifically, but um, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing set up. So first thing I always do is on these SD cards, I am going to go and put my uh, tab on here. This is the best trail camera hack you will ever come across. So basically all I do on the side that doesn't have the metal leads, I put on this. So do not put it on the side with the metal pieces. Put it on the front side. I'll just straighten that out a bit. Probably doesn't matter, but there you go. Those little uh, bookmarker tabs are perfect for this application. Now on the stealth cam here, the SD cards in the side, and I believe it goes in like so. Now, as you can imagine, that's really tight. If I went to take this out, getting my fingers on there, they're too fat to get that, but with this little tab, you're easily able to pull that out and it does not interfere whatsoever with the camera operation. I do this on all my cameras that have an SD slot that's tight, which is virtually all of them. All right, so the batteries, they've already been installed. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna switch this from off to the on position. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and push menu. All right, let's see if I can make sure the guys can see this in the light. All right, I just put a black background on here um, just uh, so we could try to read the uh, settings a little better. Um, right now it's on camera setup, so we're gonna hit enter. And we're gonna start with mode, hit enter. I'm going to go down to the PIR video, hit OK. Um, then I'm going to go to video resolution and I'm going to select the 1280 by 720, which it's currently on. Uh, video length, I'm going to go for 30 seconds. I find that's a good length of time. Uh, delay, I'm going to say 60 seconds. Operational hours, always on. Then hit enter. Okay, always on. Oh, and uh, I hit menu for back. And then go to advanced settings. Click OK, set the date, all right. So here I'm pushing down so it, it, the first number is 12. So that means the first one's the month. So it's September, push over and uh, okay. It's the eighth today, push over 21. Just gonna hit enter, set the time. And uh, just pushing the up button here now. Thirty four. Push that to PM. All right. Hit OK. Time zone, uh, I believe we're in mountain. Click OK. Uh, time format, I'm gonna say 12 hour clock. So we'll show the AM and PM. Um, see if I can get a little better lighting for you guys. And camera name, you just push up and down to get the uh, different names. Oh, 
Okay, so get get the picture. Click OK, and then go down for temperature unit. Since I'm in Canada, I'm going to leave this on Celsius. Hit Enter OK, and uh, see if there's any more information bar on. Yes, SW upgrade. I don't know what that is. Factory reset. We don't want to do that. Format memory card. I always do that regardless if it's a new camera or not. Language, confirm that it's English. And then that's it. Then we just hit menu, menu to go back. And uh, looks like there we go. I bet this will uh, start blinking here shortly, but it's live ready to roll now. So I'm just gonna turn this off. Now if I power it back on, I can see it's uh, starting to blink here. I don't, yeah, there you go. So the camera's getting ready to arm itself. So I'm just gonna hit the menu again. We're just gonna check um, the setup settings, mode, video, resolution high. So all the uh, settings, 30 seconds, okay, I won't test anymore. All the settings that I tried previously are all still saved even after I turned it off. I'll come back to the this viewer screen and uh, I believe it will arm itself shortly here. If we did have pictures in the card, you would probably just hit this play button and be good to go. But anyways, that's the setup for the Stealth Cam. And uh, if you found uh, value in this video, please make sure to give the video a like and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll have plenty more gear reviews in the future.